This video is about a miracle that took place in France to do with Padre Pio and it changed our understanding or our knowledge of Padre Pio. So please do stay tuned to find out more. Hello friends of Following Padre Pio. On this channel we bring to you a series of short stories on the incredible life of our great saint Padre Pio. He was a Capuchin friar, he was a mystic and he was a tremendous miracle worker. We offer you a series of short stories so do stay tuned to find out more about Padre Pio, about what his intercession could do for you. And, and we'd like to thank our protected child of Padre Pio patrons for your help and your support because you're the ones who make these videos possible for everyone. And do join us in this Padre Pio apostolate and you can do so by liking the video and sharing the video with your friends and colleagues. Now it is a historical fact that Padre Pio, materially speaking, he never set a foot in France. However, on the supernatural level, things appear slightly different. And there was a journey recorded of the saint to France and it was testified to by its beneficiaries and a miracle seems to have taken place and this was made public in 1958. Now in January of 1957 and this happened in Alençon in France, the young Daniel Batonier, he was just six years old at the time and he was diagnosed with meningitis, so an infection of the brain tissue of the lining of the brain and his case was diagnosed it was considered hopeless by the doctors. So at the advice of some neighbors a telegram was sent off to Padre Pio in San Giovanni Rotundo and it pleaded for Padre Pio's prayers for a child who was dying. This telegram was sent at 1.30 on this particular day and then at, by three o'clock that same day, Daniel's temperature, his fever had now soared. It was at 41 degrees and he was staring right at death, staring in the face of death. And then at 4 p.m., one hour later, there was a complete reversal. Inexplicably, his fever now started to decline and the child survived and he recovered. Well, the following day, young Daniel noticed a little picture, an image of Padre Pio that his mother had put right there next to his bed. And the boy said with a smile, Mommy, I know this priest. He came to see me twice this morning. And in fact, he sang to me quietly so that I would not be scared. And then he left and he went out through the door. Well, Mrs. Batonia, she was absolutely astounded. And she didn't know what to think. She, had, she was actually not a practicing Catholic and certainly knew very little or probably nothing about Padre Pio and nothing about his bilocations. So this miracle was revealed by a father Onfre in his article in the publication Nossa Senora dos Novos Tempos, Our Lady of the New Times. And this was in the March-April edition of 1958. Now this inexplicable and sudden cure of their child, which was a miracle, led his parents to a religious marriage. So before they were just civilly married and now they got married within the church. And a small but important detail of this whole miracle is that it took place in the town of Alençon, which was the hometown of Saint Therese of the Infant Jesus for whom Padre Pio actually had a great devotion, dearly loved her. And the fame of Padre Pio after this quickly spread throughout France. And the result of all of this was that, unlike the obedience in the, of the Italian Capuchins, that they were not allowed to spread news of Padre Pio or about his stigmata, the French Capuchins, for them it was different and they went all out. They spoke highly of Padre Pio in all of their publications, all the details about Padre Pio, and they actively contributed to making Padre Pio known to us all. And so probably because of this, obscure miracle that took place in Alençon in France. Today we know so much about Padre Pio. 
So it contributed towards our knowledge of Padre Pio. And if you have missed any of our previous videos, then it's not a problem. Just click on the icon, our channel icon, just below here on your left, and it will go through to a list of all of our videos. And of course, we'd appreciate it if you'd help us with this Padre Pio apostolate. Make sure first that you've subscribed to our channel and that all you receive all of the no notifications. Notification bell is clicked on. And then also you can help in the apostolate by liking the video, share the video with your friends and colleagues. And a reminder, if you want to have your Mass pre-intentions included in next Friday's Mass dedicated to Padre Pio, just have to enroll your intentions. You can see, see the video on the end screen how to do that. Oh